Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can fix a page speed insight error in your blogger website. So let me just go to the page speed insight and I have run a page speed test of a blog post and when I scroll down and search for the error like this, image element do not have explicit width and height. So how I can fix this error? So the solution is very simple, you just need to add a width and height to the image element. So for this we are going to log into our blogger dashboard and open that blog post. And here we need to switch to the HTML view here and find the image code. So as you can see this is the image code here and this is the image tag. So let me just hit enter here. And here as you can see you will see this option data original height is 420 and data original width is 700. So we have to add the height and width separately. So what I can do is like add height equal to and in double quote I will add the value. So in this case the width height is 420 and in the same way I will add the width. And I will add the width here like 700. So as you can see we have added the height and width separately so let me just hit space here like this and we need to save our code so let me just update this blog post and let me just go to the page speed insight again and i will just copy the url of this blog post and i will paste it here and I will reanalyze the page. So let's wait for the page speed inside test to over. Okay the page speed test is now finished and as you can see the page score has improved a little bit. So let me just show you and previously it is around 52 but in the same test we have improved the page speed and when I scroll down and as you can see there is no error regarding image element do not have explicit width and height. So in this way you can fix this error in your blogger website by just adding the width and height separately. So you just need to go to the HTML view of that blog post and add the height and width in this format. And then this problem will be solved in your blogger website. I recommend you to follow this page speed improvement playlist for blogger and you can easily improve your blogger loading speed. And if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging and i will see you in the next video thank you